Okay, so having successfully breezed through World 1, albeit with a couple of hiccups, we're ready to get started on the second world of Super Mario World, Donut Plains. So let's begin. So onward, Yoshi! Oh! That, I was gonna try and show off that if you um, jump on those guy, those Koopas with the capes on them, that's... Well, obviously not in the way that I did it, but if you um, do it without Yoshi assistance, which I guess I'm going to have to prove here because I wanted to demonstrate this. If you hit the ones with the flashing capes, you actually strip them of their capes and you get a cape feather to use as your own. So, let's make sure I don't do anything too stupid. Whoa! So yeah, you'll get to fly just like everyone else. I'm gonna come back to you later. Here's a cute, cute little bonus game. It's basically a pick 'em situation. You gotta hope that when you strike a little um, block there, that it'll be the correct one. Because if it's not, you'll um, negate all three of those blocks, and your turn will be over on that particular round. But if you are able to successfully um, turn all three blocks into circles, you get one up. So it's basically just a standard guessing game. And I did not do too badly at all. Alright, let's get back to it. Oh, we gotta look out for stuff like that. Yeah, there are things that are trying to cheap shot you. Lots of things that will try and cheap shot you. But if you can stay out of the way, you'll be fine. Oh! Yoshi's back! Yoshi's back, I knew you would not be gone for long. And the cape has a really cool secondary effect that if you are able to um, have a possession of it and you can glide, because that's what you can do. You can jump into the air and you can glide down slowly with it. And yeah, we're starting to see now the difficulty that the charging chuck provides an opponent. I mean, look at look at this! Gotta get that feather. Let's get the mushroom. Let's avoid the charging chuck. Let's land on his head, and then let's break the tape and score 28 stars. Yeah, so that could have gone all sorts of horribly wrong, but we're fine. And you may have noticed those little green, that little green column, that green hollow column. We'll talk about more about that in a moment. So basically, here's how the bonus game works. This is basically your good old-fashioned game of tic-tac-toe. You're trying to get three different icons lined up in a row, whether they be fire flowers, mushrooms, or stars. And op optimistically, you want to get the icons all to match up with whatever icon is in the center, which in this case is the fire flower. So let's hope that this works out. Every time, every line that you get is a one-up, so let's see how well we do. Uh. Perfect score? Ah, not quite. Come on, perfect score! Ah, so close. One icon away. If I didn't miss that that one time, I would have had it. But nonetheless, I'm walking away with six one-ups. The maximum is eight. So we've successfully cleared the first Donut Plains level. Now we get to go into a new icon that I'll show you. You probably remember that in Yoshi's Island 4, we went to an area that had an icon that was surrounded by water for that stage. Well, this one for Donut Plains 2, this is indicating that this is a cavern. And we're about to go for a little spelunking. And this is combined with auto-scrolling. Oh, look out. You stay away from me. If you're not gonna get eaten by me, then you just back off. Okay, can I eat him? No, I proved I could. Yeah, what you'll really find annoying as well are these little bats that like to wreak havoc with you. Well, no, they're not bats, they're birds, but they swoop down like bats. Got the little multi coin block. <coughs> it's alright. Whoa, look out. Yeah, those things like to come out of nowhere. And, oh, I cry foul on you. That, 
I hit you flush. That, that was wrong. I'm sorry, but that was wrong. However, I do know that this is right. If I jump up here and press up, that takes me into a secret area. I'll pass on the mushroom since I don't really need it. Get you out of my hair. Or, oh, he stopped short. He's still stopping short. Ugh, well, screw you then. Then you want to get this blue shell and hit the high block there. We don't need the shell anymore, so let's discard it. Oh, and hope that we don't run into it. I'll land safely on the blocks, climb up the vine, and this is the first usage of a key in this area. Keys allow you to open little locks that unlock secret locations. Such as the green switch pilots, for example. So let's go ahead and use it. Now, the green switch pilots is different from the um, yellow switch pilots. In fact, all the switch palaces are different in their own way. Basically, they're opportunities for you to gain bonuses in the way that they've been designed, but let's see if I can pull it off here. So basically, we want that shell to... do that. And we got ourselves a 1-up. I was thinking I was going to get more than 1-up, one one up, but hey, whatever. Oh, couldn't quite glide on there, but hey, Mario's showing off more awesome levitation moves as we've activated the green switch. So let's be on our way and flood the game with green switches. Whenever you... Um, hit a green switch from underneath, it'll always give you a cape feather, so those will definitely be useful. Let's go back to Donut Plains 2 now and complete the stage. And take my anger out on enemies that deprived me of Yoshi, and yet I don't understand how they did it. I'm gonna go on a spinning spree here. Oh. Oh, bad idea, bad idea! Very, very, very bad idea! Let's get out of there! And get my feather back! Come get some! Alright, well, I'm not gonna be threatened over here. And let's move on. Oh, look out! Birds swooping at me! Birds swooping at me like bats. And to prove my point, now that we hit the green switch, we get green switch result, which is the cape feather. So now we can pass by the pipe, take that little sucker out, and then, okay, this next one we just have to get by it quickly. Oh, look out. Yeah, now we can pretty much take it easy unless we get nailed by stuff. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. In fact, I'm going to make sure of it. And another cave feather. Not that I need a ho. Oh! You stay out of my way now. You stay away. Out of sight, out of mind, there. Now then. Oh, I think we have to wait until this goes up, because yeah. The scrolling goes, slows down just enough so that if you don't... If you are too hasty, you get crushed. Conversely, if you don't move quickly enough, you will find yourself on the wrong end of moving too late and getting squished that way. Okay, this is not the exit. Oh, look out. But that that is the exit. And let's go ahead and use it. Score 26 stars. And enjoy the always enjoyable, course clear, little BGM. Alright, so by completing that, we now get access to what's known as the Ghost House. And the Ghost House is one of these little puzzle stages that you have to be able to successfully clear. So let's go ahead and check out this first one. Yeah, it may seem ominous and... Believe me, for first-timers it is. Because, yeah, look at all these ghosts. But there is a trick to getting out of here. 
I'm going to show it as soon as I can get myself some clear ground. Which is not going to be obtained by doing that. Now, all these ghosts swoop down, but they're no real threat to you. All you or, so I thought. So, here you just want to slip by. And then you want to... If I remember correctly, you have to go through here twice. You gotta go through this door twice. Hit that vine. Climb up it. And that takes you to the exit. So yeah, you gotta know how to do these little puzzles correctly, or else you're not gonna fare very well. So we got 21 stars. So that'll get us to a total of 55. And for the most part, ghost houses always have secret exits to them. We'll show off this place's secret exit a little later. But first we're going to continue on to Donut Plains 3. Alright, here we go. Oh, and we got a little... Tilt a whirl platforms. And crap, it's too late for me to go back and get that feather. Oh well. Let's see if I can survive without it. Okay, so yeah, there's one of those little blue shells that will make Yoshi fly. But, oh, that could have been disastrous. Okay. In fact, I think you want to optimistically use the cape to get down to that section, but I don't have it anymore. Okay, moving on. Yeah, you can have your shell back, I don't want it. So now you gotta hit these switches, and they alter the way the wires go. And if you don't hit them, as you can see, they have dead ends, which basically means that they go right off the edge. And you die. And you don't want that. Then you gotta deal with these crazy black spiny things that run the wires. You can't kill them. All you can do is just put up with them. And then we got this funky little jumping platform here. Puts you right here, and in here we. Alright, another guessing game puzzle. And we're gonna get ourselves another one up. Awesome. More one ups! Nope, not there. We're gonna get another one here. Oh, <laughs> nice! I hit it with my cape and flipped it up in the air. How hilarious is that? And I did it again. One more. Wow, four out of five. That's not bad at all. And I'm up to 38 lives. That's crazy. Not bad for a guy who hasn't played this game in such a long time. And especially for a guy who never had a, owned a Super Nintendo. Anyway, we got 40 stars this time. Yeah, my family never owned a Super Nintendo. We, de we decided to be the black sheep of everyone we knew, because everyone else we knew had a Super Nintendo. We were the only family that we knew that owned a Sega Genesis. So, <laughs> yeah, try and figure that one out. So anyway, on to Donut Plains 4. So yeah, I, I don't have much experience playing this game, but I have beaten it. But I- Whoa! I forgot about you! No, they are gonna keep chasing me. Oh! Hey! He jumped over his own shell! I cry foul on that! Oh, 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 oh. I'm not gonna take any chances. I'm gonna shoot you over. And then hopefully... Oh, yeah, I, I saw you trying to make a move there, and it failed. You hear me? Your move failed! Oh, Hammer Brothers. But we don't need them! This will do nicely. Yeah. See ya, suckers. Now let's spin our way to success. Is this a downpipe? It is. I could tell because of the fact that there was that um, little ang pipe that was on an angle that was just set up in such a perfect way that if you d hit it right, that when you come out of it, you launch into the air. And I want to bounce off those guys. Mission accomplished. And launch. Over the hammer, brother, past the halfway mark. Nice. Is there a Yoshi in here? Hey, I was right! I don't know, it just seemed like the perfect opportunity for one to appear. And it worked. Star time! Oh, gotta use the... Gotta use the Hammer Brothers platform. Got to use the Hammer Brothers platform. Let's go! Let's go, try and score as many po points as possible, possibly even one-ups. Whoa! 
Okay, that was unexpected. I took flight when I didn't want to take flight. And I got all these Goombas flying down, trying to make an example out of me, but I won't let them. I will not allow it! And now I get to move on over here, and... Ah! I moved forward too far too soon. But it's okay. I've got 38 lives, what am I worried about? Okay, so now on to the second of the castles. Belonging to Morton Koopa. Alright. Oh yes, this one. With the mini version of the Thwomps from Super Mario Bros. 3, known as Thwimps. And then you gotta to avoid these swinging mace balls. And not go too far that you run into one that you didn't intend to. Alright, here are the regular sized Thwomps. Okay. Jump up. Jump up. Whoa, look out. Sorry, dry bones, but I gotta get rid of you. Alright, now this section, we've got platforms that move frequently from left to right, and you basically have to deal with it the best way that you can. So basically, whenever one comes toward you, take advantage of it. Yep, there, I was right, there was a cape in there. Okay. Back the other way now. Come to Papa. Can I jump up? Yes, I can. Yeah, who, who needs to wait? Now back the opposite direction. And then I have to eliminate dry bones completely because if you jump on him and you break him, he just reassembles himself and just keeps threatening you. So what I want to do is use this trampoline to get myself higher. I'm not even going to bother with those coins. They're not worth my time or my effort. See ya. Oh. I'm going to play it safe this time. Not going to do anything stupid. Though I very well could have. Alright, now let's do the snaking slalom. And so that's, this is basically primarily what the second castle consists of, is this side-to-side -side platform gauntlet. And thanks to the green switch, I don't have to worry about those spikes. I can even get another switch if I wanted to, or another feather if I wanted to. So let's go in and throw down with Morton Koopa. Basically, this is pretty much straightforward. Whenever he... Let's see if I can get him before he even climbs the wall. Yeah. Basically, whenever he climbs onto the wall, he'll go then go up to the ceiling and then he'll try and land on you whenever you're directly underneath him. But I didn't even get him a chance to show that off, so I'm not going to complain about it. And so now we have ourselves a second Yoshi egg. And Mario is going to kick this castle down and pound it into submission. Morton Koopa Jr. of Castle Number 2 is now just a memory. The next area is the Underground Vanilla Dome. What traps await Mario in this new world, and what will become of Princess Toadstool? One can only find out by watching the next episode. <laughs> so, we have now made our way into the Vanilla Dome, which we will be seeing the next time I join you. So, yeah, we're off to a good start here. Two worlds in, and we've already gotten a lot accomplished, but there's a lot of awesome stuff that we haven't even gone to search and explore yet, so we've barely even scratched the surface of this game yet, so that'll all happen in the future episodes. So I'm going to call it a recording day for now, and I'd like to thank all of you for watching my the start of my Let's Play of Super Mario World, and when I join you next time, we will begin our journey inside the Vanilla Dome. So until next time everyone, take care, and I'll see you soon.